What is happening, sports fans? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-pack. I am rocking it solo. It is Wednesday, December 15th. We've got 11 NBA games to talk over. I picked out five guys I'm highly interested in tonight to go over with you guys. I'm excited about that. Um, before I dive in, I want to let you guys know that Ryan and I will both be making the NFL showdown videos tomorrow. So check those out. Would appreciate that. And also, you know, I'm going to shout out our promoters real quick. Jazz sports. If you sign up and join and join jazz sports, you get a no risk wager up to a thousand dollars on your first bet. That's a grand back. If your first wager is great at all, just can't beat it. And then loose lines. I've been talking about it. You get really good lines and odds over there. Reduced juice and other perks. You get an additional 50% off when you deposit at Loose Line. So check those sites out. The links will be in the description section of the video. And I appreciate it if you would if you would do just that and check it out. That being said, uh, I want to talk about these five guys. A classic DFS five pack here. Let's roll. Let me screen share this and we'll be on our way. So starting out, a couple... Uh, Point guards that we're just going to lock in and move on in all formats. Kyle Lowry, not the greatest spot against Philly, but Philly born and raised. I always like using Lowry in this spot, going back to his old stopping grounds. He's got good success against Philly. And, oh, yeah, Bam's out, Butler's out, Hero's out. He's their guy. He's playing big minutes in competitive games. There's just a ton to like about him here. Close spread. I still think Miami can stay in this game. And if they do so, it will be because of Lowry. Uh, projected to be one of the better value plays on the slate. I have him, you know, 45 plus DK points. And I just think you plug him in and move along. All right, we'll go from the, we'll start, we'll, we'll just talk about the point guards first. So the next up is a guy, Drew Holiday. So we know Giannis is out. A couple big men are out from Milwaukee, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, potentially Chris Middleton is out. So even if Middleton plays, Holiday looks like one of the better plays on the slate at 7,500. If Middleton's out, he is the best play on the slate at 7,500. Absolutely balled against Indiana the last time these teams played, put up 47 DK points while losing run with Giannis and Middleton in. So you take those guys out, Wesley Matthews out. I mean, just minutes all over to go around for him. If this game's competitive, he's going to play upwards of 40, I think. Just too much to like here at 7,500 to not play him in all formats. All right, back up to, to Devin Vassell. So this is more of a long shot for me. Not projected for a lot of love, but I really like the spot for him. I think I think you can play anyone versus Charlotte right now. They're one of the best matchups in the league. And at 4,200, his upside's real. You know, last game he wasn't very good. He lost he lost a little bit of run. He was really he was really good the game before that and solid in the game before that. And now with Lonnie Walker out in a pace up spot against the Hornets, I think he's got real upside at 4,200. Again, I don't think he's going to 10x here, but 30 plus is in the cards for sure. Um, and at 4,200, I just think he's worth taking a look at at a less than stellar small forward spot with, with, you know, good plays all over the slate. All right, moving on down to another guy you just plug in and play anywhere and everywhere, excuse me, that's going to be Alperin Sangoon. He's a guy I've talked about a bunch. I really like his fantasy game in the preseason. He absolutely balled. This guy's young, but was dominant in the professional leagues overseas. He's very much advanced for his age, 23 and 25 minutes the past two games. And with Christian Wood out, there's no getting away from him here. I mean, check the game log at 4,500, big upside in the past two games. He's got upside for even more here. Not the greatest matchup in the world, but at this price, it doesn't matter. Play him and uh, try to get different elsewhere. Last but not least, excuse me, let me take a drink of water. Bobby Portis. So, again, we talked about Giannis being out, which is huge for him. Middleton potentially being out, which wouldn't hurt him. DeMarcus Cousins now out. To join Brooke Lopez, who's also out. Semi Ojale is out at 7,100. You know, I called this out when he had 53 against Miami. I think this is another 45 plus spot for Portis here, especially if Middleton's out. There's some opportunity cost playing Portis at center. You know, you can only play two centers max. So if you want to play Jokic, you'd have to play them together and one of them at utility. That's fine. At 7,100, Portis is my priority center on the slate. I think he's giving you that upside game in a pretty good spot against Indiana in a game that I think is going to be close. Excuse me, guys. So, yeah, these are my 
I wouldn't say favorite five guys on the slate, but five guys I wanted to talk about. You know, if I were picking my favorite five guys, the cell wouldn't be one of them. But the other four pretty close, and then wanted to throw a long shot out there for you guys. So don't crush me when Vassell is, you know, not great tonight. But know that at 4,200, he's got real upside, especially in a, a big pace up spot against Charlotte. That's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Ryan and I tomorrow on the NFL Showdown video. And if you want more content, more videos, more write-ups, more me, more anyone, more anything, go check out the DFS 5-pack. We'd love to have you. And don't forget to check out the Jazz Sports and Loose Lines. Links in the description section. Thank you guys a lot.